Alright guys, Tom here and welcome to a new video and today I'm doing the prediction for the WWE Hell in a Cell 2013 WWE Championship match between Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton and I think this match is really, really open-ended due to the fact you've got the special guest referee of Shawn Michaels and you've got Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton who could actually win it and it wouldn't be a shame if one of them lost it or the other one lost it. I mean, either guys could do something with the WWE Championship until the next pay-per-view and you could still continue the storyline. I think if Randy Orton won, it'd be okay. And if Daniel Bryan won, it'd be okay. So you, it's really, really hard to predict because either guys could win. And then when you're adding the other factor that you've got a special guest referee as Shawn Michaels, it's even harder to predict. But the thing I like about this match is that Shawn Michaels is in this match and he could... He's definitely going to favour somebody. The reason why he was added into this match is to do something during the match. I can't see if any other reason why they'd add Shawn Michaels because the fact that it's in a Hell in a Cell anyway already adds a little bit of uniqueness into the match. But the fact that you've added Shawn Michaels as well makes me think that he's been added in there to do something rather than add that uniqueness to it because it's already in a Hell in a Cell. It's already, it's already new. It's adding something fresh to the feud. So adding Shawn Michaels isn't in there isn't doing the job as making it unique. It's doing there so they can create a storyline during this match and personally the storyline I think they're going to tell is where Shawn Michaels does in fact turn on Daniel Bryan now if you're watching Monday Night Raw Shawn Michaels did in fact favor with Daniel Bryan he had a stare down with Triple H and he was talking to Triple H what you have against this guy Daniel Bryan what has he actually done he was talking big about Daniel Bryan and he was working on that babyface character, favoring Daniel Bryan, and didn't even say a single word about Randy Orton. And of course, WWE likes to do these awesome swerves. In a pay-per-view which hasn't really had some decent build, a swerve would be very, very good in this pay-per-view because it'd be unexpected. But honestly, I see it going down as Shawn Michaels is going to turn on Daniel Bryan, whether it's through a sweet chin music or he's just going to hit him with a chair or something like that. And Daniel Bryan gets taken down onto the mat. And Randy Orton slips to the cover. And Daniel Bryan kicks out. He overcomes the odds and wins the WWE Championship. In that way, it's kind of put over this more heelish character of Triple H going behind the scenes helping Randy Orton get the WWE Championship and then you're still putting over Daniel Bryan as much as possible because he's overcome the odds against two guys within the Hell in a Cell his first Hell in a Cell match overcoming maybe a sweet chin music or a steel chair, overcoming a pin or an RKO or something like that winning the WWE Championship over Randy Orton I personally think that's gonna how it's going to go down down. Shawn Michaels is going to is gonna make a swerve happen. He's going to turn on Daniel Bryan and hit him with a sweet chin, a chair, anything like that. He's going to get Randy Orton to pin him. Daniel Bryan's going to kick out and then Daniel Bryan's going to overcome the odds. Going to look absolutely awesome. He's going to get such a pot, be even more over with the crowd and then overcome the odds. And for the 1-2-3 pin, Shawn Michaels makes the cover and Daniel Bryan becomes the new WWE Champion. I personally think that will be a really, really perfect way to end this match. I think we've had two really, really bad endings for the last two pay-per-views. At Battleground, you had Big Show randomly come out and just completely kill the crowd in the match. And then at Night of Champions, you had a really, really fast count out of nowhere, which killed the crowd and the match. It just made for a really stale ending to both of the pay-per-views. And if you're going to have the babyface ending this pay-per-view, winning the, the WWE Championship legitimately, it's going to make the fans go home happy. It's going to be a really, really good ending to end Hell in a Cell with the babyface winning and it's just going to be a really good opportunity for Daniel Bryan to finally have a good WWE Championship reign and if this doesn't happen I could actually see Randy Orton picking up the victory where Shawn Michaels does in fact turn on Daniel Bryan but Randy Orton just gets the victory but honestly I'm thinking they're going to go down the route of the babyface Daniel Bryan winning here since we've had two really really bad endings to the last two pay-per-views if the heel was going to win it'd make the feud even more dead it'd be a bad ending a bad third pay-per-view I mean the main event always makes a pay-per-view so if you're going to have a third bad main event or ending the crowd 
aren't going to be happy. We're not going to be intrigued into this feud. We're not even going to care if Daniel Bryan goes after the WWE Championship again. You want the babyface to win this match and finally win the WWE Championship. A swear by Shawn Michaels. Daniel Bryan overcoming the odds. Getting so over with the crowd yet again. Winning the WWE Championship and finally starting a good, decent title run. That's my opinion, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Take care, spite hair. Like the video. Post in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching and goodbye.